Hi there, this is Muzammil and the question that we are going to answer today is divide the respondents into three groups depending on their level of satisfaction in life high, medium and low. Take only the high and low groups for further analysis. This is question number four and uh, the gist of this question is to divide a particular variable which in this case is total satisfaction into three groups low, medium and high and then we have to take only two variables low and high for further analysis. How do we do this? It's very simple. First of all to understand what kind of data we have the range of the data let's run a simple analysis that's frequency test. Click on analyze descriptive statistics and frequencies. Here we'll take into consideration this tot sat variable which is the total satisfaction. We click here and then we click OK. Now let's take a look at the output. In the output we can see that we we have a range which is between 23 which is the lowest level of satisfaction and 60 which is the highest level of satisfaction. Now this is what we need to divide into three groups low, medium and high. We can do that on the basis of the range we have here but that would not be perfect there would be so many mistakes with that a better way of dividing this data into three is to use cumulative percentage and divide on the basis of this so we'll divide on the basis of this but we need to find out that point which marks the dividing line between two groups how do we do that let's click on Windows and go back to our our data here. We we'll click on analyze descriptive frequencies again. Now we go to statistics here and click percentile. Now 33 percentile is approximately one third of the complete data set we have. Then 66 and then 100. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at the output what it tells us okay so 33 percentile is at 40 so this is 33 percentile 66 is at 46 46 66 and 60 is at 100 so now we have the dividing lines between three different groups we know where to divide them once we have decided that, in this case it's 40, 46 and 60 which are the marking points. Let's go back to our data view. Here first of all we have the tot sat variable. We don't want to fiddle with the original one so we'll create one more. We go to transform compute variable and here we write name for another variable tot sat 1 We put it here and we click on OK. Now let's take a look. Okay, here we have dot sat one, which is exactly a replica of dot sat. Now let's fiddle with dot sat one and divide it into three. To divide dot sat one into three groups based on level of satisfaction of the respondents, let's click on transform, then recode into same variable. Once we do that select dot set one click on old and new values now here we know that 33 percentile was at 40 so we'll write range we'll write range lowest through 40 so which means from 0 to 40 would be called 1 that's lowest now from 40.00001 through 46 we'll call it 2 which is medium and then from 46.0001 through highest we call it 3 that's high now we have done this click on OK let's take a look now we have divided it into three groups let's take a look at this variable now here 1 2 3 indicating high low and medium levels of satisfaction not respectively so we have divided it into three 
Now, the second part of the question is, first let's check uh, in terms of data output how it works. First we'll give labels to tot set 1. We said 1 is low, 2 is medium, and 3 is high. Click on OK. Run the same test once more. OK. Oops, I think there is a mistake. We go to Analyze, Descriptors, and Frequencies. Oh, we have to select dot set one. That was a mistake we made, and click on OK. Now let's take a look. We had divided dot set one into three groups: low, medium, and high. Low has 118 frequency, medium has 114, and high has 117. This is the percentage. Now that we have done this, the second part of the question is to take only low and high levels of satisfaction for further analysis. How do we do that? We go back to the data view window here and we have to remove this to remember. What we do is that once again so as not to lose the data in totsat1 we'll create one more replica va variable. How we do that? The same procedure. We go here we call the new variable totvat2 and OK. OK, here we have totsat2 which is a replica of totsat1 now we are going to work with dot set 2 and remove medium category which is 2. How we do that? We select this and then we click on transform recode into same variable. We remove this and add dot set 2 only new values. We remove all of these first. Now value 2 which we need to replace should be the new value for it should be system missing. We click add. We click OK and that's it we have done the job now let's run the test once more let's see what we have we select dot sat 2 and we click on OK and there we go 1 and 3 1 means low 3 means high or we can give labels to this as well 1 and 3 like we did before 1 would be low would be high. We click on OK. That's it. Now let's run the test again once more to see the changes. OK, low, high. So in this tutorial, we learned how to divide a set of data into three different levels high, medium, and low, and how to take only high and low for further analysis. This was a tutorial by Muzamil. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.